Casey. We're now less than three weeks away from the beginning of a new school year. Whether that will be in person, online, or a hybrid of both is still up in the air. Now, teachers, staff, and of course parents are all questioning if returning to school is a safe choice. And with so many opinions out there on what is the best choice, Denver 7 is continuing our 360 reporting, starting with a new survey from the Colorado Teachers Association. Out of the more than 13,000 teachers surveyed, nearly 80% said they won't return to work over safety concerns. In fact, fewer than 20% said they think districts can keep teachers and students safe. And 55% of educators think the school year should start remotely. Denver 7's Russell Haythorne is taking a 360 look. If there's one certainty this year, going back to school is going to look different, whether it's kids online at the kitchen table or in-person learning with masks and desks six feet apart. The question is, what's the right way? Then that's the hard thing, right, is balancing what's best for education versus what's best for everybody's health and safety. Most districts in Colorado seem committed to returning to class mid-August with an option for online learning if parents prefer. Denver, however, has announced students won't return in person until at least the day after Labor Day. Board member Bradley Lorvik says DPS will not reopen, citing rising COVID numbers and public pressure from teachers and parents. Lots of different opinions in lots of different directions. I have as many start school in person today emails as I have, oh goodness, don't start in person ever, right? There's a lot of voices, but those voices are, I think, impacted also by the current numbers. The pressure from the teachers union came in part because of sizzling hot classrooms. Just with how hot it was gonna be, um, and then adding to that wearing masks. Rachel Barnes is an English second language teacher at Bradley International, where there's no AC. She says DPS has failed to address AC issues in more than 40 schools for years, and now it's costing kids valuable classroom time. They want to continue to push the start date earlier and earlier in August, but we don't have air conditioning. Fourth grade math teacher Katie Allen questions the way DPS is making decisions and rolling out announcements. It seems like a very secretive decision making um, process. She's concerned about not meeting the needs of families who don't have options. There are going to be families that we do not meet their needs. I'm still having to worry about my own family and my own health. And so I'm, I'm really scared that we can't meet the needs of our families and keep ourselves safe also. The governor raised eyebrows a few days ago when he suggested well, on CPR that teachers are no different than other professionals like nurses, doctors, and waiters who go to work every day risking their health. Are you willing to take on a little bit more health risk as we are across society, really in every different profession? He said it's a tough choice and clarified today there is no right or wrong answer for teachers or parents. Many parents are just, just agonizing over this. But at the end of the day, this, like a lot of things in life, is a very individualized decision. Uh, I think that most parents, like me, are relieved that their kids can be reasonably safe at school and want them to have that experience. Yeah. Which brings us back to parents like mother of three Amy Brenton, who is just hoping her oldest daughter, six-year-old Ivy, will get to experience face-to-face -face learning sometime this year. I don't really know how remote kindergarten works. If it is safe and the school is open, we were leaning towards uh, sending Ivy, uh, sending her to in-person school. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.